So for all the women's empowerment talk that continues apace like it's 1973, the numbers are really clear. It's men in this country who are in deep trouble by every measure. A couple years ago, we did a series called Men in America, which explained exactly how men are falling behind in this country. We found that important at the time. It's even more important now. The numbers are even worse. Finally, a member of Congress noticed this and spoke to it forcefully. That was Senator Josh Hawley. He spoke at the National Conservatism Conference, and he pointed out something obvious, that masculinity is under attack in this country, and men are withering and dying as a result of it. That's not an overstatement. Anybody familiar with the social science can confirm that. So over at MSNBC, of course, they found this deeply offensive. They compared Josh Hawley, of course, to Vladimir Putin. Josh Hawley, with his trademark laser-like precision, has honed in on the real front burner issue in America, masculinity in this country. I am certainly not shocked that he said something this wacky, because he said stuff like this before. It's a couple of dashes of political extremism from a very, very cynical, Stanford-educated United States senator. It's a dollop of the type of rhetoric that you may hear in Vladimir Putin's Russia, that you may hear in Viktor Orban's Hungary, a fusion of these masculine notions, right? This is why you see Putin posing with tigers with his shirt off. At some point, we're going to take a closer forensic look at the personal lives of the three people you just saw on the screen. A lot of happy, well-balanced relationships, do you think? Probably not. Josh Hawley, by contrast, is the senator from Missouri about whom they were complaining. He joins us tonight. Senator, thanks so much for coming on. So you felt moved to defend masculinity. How come? Well, because it's in crisis. Men are in crisis, Tucker, as you pointed out. I mean, listen, we've got at least 16 million men in this country who are out of the labor force. They're not just unemployed. They're not even trying to work. And I'm talking about able-bodied men, prime age men. We have an epidemic of fatherlessness in this country. And what's the left saying? The left saying that America is a systemically oppressive place and that men are to blame and that masculinity is to blame. You know, if you want to be a man, if you are assertive, if, if you're independent, if you display those characteristics that psychologists have associated with men for decades, then you're contributing to the oppressive place that is America. That just isn't true. And it's time that we call that out. And it's time that we say to young men in particular, we need you. We need you to be responsible. We need you to get a job. And you can make this country a better place by being who you were meant to be. And we should call men to that. God, that's, I mean, I, I can't imagine why anyone would be anything but grateful to hear that. Why do you think that triggers the moron so much? Well, because the left, they, they hate this country, but they also, they don't believe in gender. You know, I mean, they're, they're trying to do away with gender uh, and they don't believe in manhood or womanhood. I mean, these are the same people who are trying to do away with women's sports. Let's not forget, Tucker. Right. So this is a war on gender all the way around. And I think the idea of having independent men and independent women for that matter, but independent men who would actually go to work and be responsible and contribute to their families and contribute to society, the left finds that scary because those are not the kind of people who will just be told to fall in line by the government and do whatever the government says to do. And the left doesn't want that. They don't believe in manhood at all. They think it's inherently oppressive. We've got to call them out on these on these falsehoods, and they are false. And we've got to call men to responsibility. For, for all of our sakes, men and women need each other. If, if one group fails, everyone suffers. I mean, that's, that's real. That's how we're made, exactly. unfortunately, maybe, but it's true. Yeah. Senator Hawley, I appreciate your coming on tonight and for the, for the truth that you're telling about that. Thank you.